condition. They've had a, we've had a lot of rain for the last week. It's been raining literally every day. We'll talk about that in a minute. Here's the Trinity College East team, Dalrymple, Providence, Barnwell, Whiteman, Prince, um, Michael, John Michael Romero. There's Frank Williams, Faustin. He's going to be the danger man. Figaro, Hill, and Caraby, the coach, is Dwayne Davis. And... Let's have a look at the starting lineup of Five Rivers. George, Leopold, Holford, Figue Figuera, Lord, Corridon, Oliveri, Jules, Rampasad, Samson, and Neptune. The coach, Andy Morales. So there are the two starting lineups, and uh, we're just getting set here. But they took a deflection, and it went into the back of the net to make it, at that point in time, to make it 2-1. But then, after that, it was just all Trinity College East, and they scored another seven goals and unanswered to make the full-time score here at the Larigom Stadium, the East Zone, the first East Zone quarterfinal here, Trinity College East, nine, Five Rivers Secondary, a one. So let's have a look at the highlights as Referee Bacchus starts the proceedings here. And uh, this was Hill. Sending that ball across and in came Frank Williams and banged it into the net to make it one goal to nil. That was uh, Frank Williams coming onto that ball, hit it one time and uh, to make it one goal to nil. And then this was Hill again, playing that ball nicely down the line to Faustin. He played it in field, a little bit of a mix up, but as far as uh, Figaro was concerned, there was no mix up with him. Got the ball into the back of the net to make it two goals to nil. And then all of a sudden, an attack here from Five Rivers between Holford and Neptune. Neptune had the shot, it took a deflection, and it went into the back of the net to make it two goals to one. And one would have thought, hey, game is on here. But all of a sudden, Trinity College East, they woke up again, and Hill, shrugging off a couple defenders, uh, had the shot. It came off the inside of the post and went in to make it three goals to one. And then Barnwell coming down the left side, sent the cross in and the ball came off the, the defender corridor and it went into the back of the net to make it 4-1. Then the onslaught started again in the second half. Faustin going up that left side, outrunning the defender and then just squaring the ball nicely for Prince to side foot it into the back of the net to make it five goals to one. Very unselfish play from Faustin. Then it was still Trinity College East starting uh, to keep going here. This was Faustin with a beauty of a ball right across to the far post where Hill came in and he had the easy task of just side footing the ball into the net to make it six goals to one. But that pass was a beauty from Faustin. But it didn't end there. Couple of substitutions for Trinity College East, and here is a substitute Brown coming on to that pass and sliding it past the keeper. It was 7 1. More came from the substitutes. There is the celebration. This was the ball coming across towards Fair, and he put it into the back. The cross from Romero straight to the substitute Fair. That was eight goals to one. And it didn't end there because yet another substitute. This was Brown um, looking for Cummins who put it into the back of the net and the scoring ended there at nine goals to one and the ball played into Cummins and he just calmly put it into the back of the net. So nine goals to one, referee Bacchus then uh, saying that enough was enough and uh, let's uh, have a look at the highlight uh, sorry at the stats sorry we just looked at the highlights and look at it 24 shots to seven uh, in favor of trinity college east 14 shots on target as opposed to five from five rivers the fouls eight to four yellow cards just the one yellow card for five rivers a young corridor getting that no red cards offsides five to trinity college east none to uh, five rivers corners five to none and then saves four from Trinity College East and five from um, Samson of Five Rivers. So that's the situation here. Nine goals to one. Let's go down to Hans. He's got the man of the match with him.
And right now, I'm joined by the man of the match, Riley Hill. You scored in the first and second half. You are man of the match today. Big congratulations going out to you. What was your mindset going into this one? Going into this one today, I just wanted to make sure that I keep my standard high despite whatever opposition and just be the best man I could be. It was actually my goal to be the man of the match today. Oh, so, for real? A happy hour. Anybody you want to dedicate it to, though? I would like to dedicate it to my father because he's always here supporting me through everything and giving advice. And I'd like to dedicate this one to my father. And we do add, yes, man. Congratulations, team. Riley Hill. We wish you the best and we look forward to you in some more games. We're getting ready to speak to the coaches. But what are your areas that you see the need for improvement in? In terms of the team, I think that you know we could be a little more confident on the ball, get passes together more and keep our standards high despite whatever opposition we play. All right, thank you very much at the Larry Gomes Stadium. The score, Trinity College East, nine goals, five rivers.